All right, so today we are out on a nasty, nasty blustery day. It's probably 30 plus mile an hour winds, and we're gonna show you how to set up a hub house in conditions like this. Not every day that you get to go fishing is gonna be a nice, beautiful, calm day. And you know, if you've ever been out on the lake on a windy day like this, chances are you've probably seen somebody running across the lake chasing down a hub house. So we're gonna teach you how to do how to do this properly so that doesn't end up happening to you. So first things first, ideally if there's enough ice, you wanna grab your truck or your, your vehicle and park it kind of upwind from where you're gonna be setting up the house. But for uh, demonstration purposes today, we're gonna do it without the additional wind block of a vehicle. And so the first thing that we're gonna do is we're gonna set up, we're gonna put a spike in the ice before we even take out the house. All right, that should be good enough. So like I said, you wanna have one anchor in there before you do anything. Now the next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna grab a couple more anchors so I'm ready, but I'm also gonna grab the house and we're gonna unfold it to some, to some degree and we're gonna anchor down the corners. So I'm gonna pull this out of the bag here. This is a, it's a little thing, but what you're gonna to wanna to do is have some sort of auger or something heavy so your bag doesn't fly away. That can be an issue as well. So the next step is you're gonna drop the house just downwind from the spike and then I'm just gonna flip over one side just like this. Now what a lot of people like to do is they like to uh, take that hub, pop it out and attach it to that spike. But what I'm gonna do first is I'm gonna put two anchors in each of the corners of the house uh, on the upwind side. Now you can see down here on the otter houses what they got. Oop, and see that's where you gotta be careful. I'll just leave that corner over there. They have little system here where you can pop through the holes and get this thing down. We can tighten these straps down a little bit later once we have everything set up. But now what we're gonna do is we're gonna get this side back down good and straight. Then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do the same exact thing to this side. And once we've completed this, we've really, we've really got about everything set up. There's about no chance that this thing's gonna fly away on you. Like I said before, if you take care of your ice anchors, it shouldn't be too big of a deal to, to drill them right down in there by hand. Alternatively, if you wanted to, you could, bring, you could buy the drill attachment and make fast and easy work of this, but this is fairly painless. Okay, so now that we have a stake right here that we're gonna attach the hub to, and we have one stake in each corner on the upwind side, the next step is to reach over here and pop out this hub. <laughs> Let's get this all straightened out here. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pop this hub up. So you simply just put this loop right here. If I can get my fingers in between it, there we go. Put the loop right there. And then I'm just gonna tighten it down like that. And now, real quick, I'm gonna run around and pop the rest of the hubs out. Now lastly, what we're gonna do is we're gonna put anchors in both of the other two corners in the back there. And we're gonna put anchors on the two hubs that are not on the downwind side. So these two on the side. So we're gonna do that right now real quick and we're gonna have this thing completely dialed in. So one thing that's pretty cool about these Otter Hub houses is the fact that they have this ice lock system. So basically what that is is first and foremost, you pop the anchor through through that and then you pop it through this little corner hole just like that and then you drill it in of course like normal but what's great about this particular system basically you have two different uh, attachment points here so it's on there twice as good but also with this what I like to do is once it's in you kind of lock it down tight and I'm gonna go around to all the different corners and do that exact same thing. And what that's gonna do is keep this hub even tighter to the ground. So that's pretty much all you need to do. I have ice anchors in each corner, and then I only actually have one of the hubs strapped out. 
So it's really a nice system. I don't know how well you can tell in this video, but it's blowing at least 30 miles an hour right now. It is pretty nasty out. And you know, back in the day, your hub house kind of needed to look like it had a bunch of spider legs coming out from every angle for this thing to be locked down on a windy day like this. Nowadays, well, you know the system now. It's not terribly difficult and you don't have to be afraid of using your hub on a nasty windy day. How's that for windy, Brett? We should go inside of that. <laughs>